Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have tested this post component which has an input and output event emitters. And also what we have did, we have subscribed to the event emitter and we have did we are like this. So we have created a con instance for the comp post component and we have did it. Now this post component testing is fine. So it's fine. It is an isolated thing and it does not depend on any uh, any any classes or anything it doesn't have any dependencies so this is an isolated and we have tested like this so this one is fine but if you if you have something like dependencies for a component okay if you have any dependence something like if, for example if it is depending on any service or anything means then what we have to do so now we have already did this type of cases what is that one is in the post component dot html file uh, ts file so this post component, this is also a component, it's also a TypeScript, it's generally it's a TypeScript class, just like the post component, but here this post component, so that means plural post components, which, hand, which handles the post data. It is dependent on the post service, whereas the single post component does not depend on anything, so we have created a component and we have written. But whereas this post component, it depends on a post service. So how did we test this one? So we have tested this one in a traditional way, something like, what we have did it here we have created a post component just like create instance and it requires a post service so we have create we have created another mock post service that means creating a spy object or something like that and we have injected that one like this so tomorrow if we have so many post service like this means how you will try to do so similarly we'll create a spy object and all those things right so now so this is okay this is fine this is one method of implementing these all the things but angular provides us in utility class that is nothing but a test bed so test bed testing utility class which handles all those dependencies so when you want to test a component or anything so you can use the test bed utility utility class it's a static class so it will handle all those dependencies which are required for that component so here our component is the post component and this post component is dependent on this post service so we don't we don't bother about this post service dependency injection and all those things so now if you create the component using the test bed so if you make use of this test bed so it will take care of all those dependency injection how the angular did this one uh, angular did for the component thing and all those things wherever you are using that component how you will be using so the test bed takes care of all those things so what is this test bed test, test bed is nothing but it's a module thing so for example for this angular if you try to understand so this one has a module something like app.module.ts so this app.module.ts has the declarations so nothing but the components whatever the components that are necessary for this project so these are all the components we will be adding this one in the declarations and whatever the uh, what i can say the services that are in uh, required for this one you'll add it in the provider section or otherwise we will be using something like use root something like that okay providing root and these are the imports so if you have any modules or anything so you will be using these all the modules so this is the app module in the similar way for the test component also for this testing thing so if you are involving in the testing thing so we will create a module for this one we will create a module for this one so whatever the uh, components or whatever the, for example let's say that this post component requires another post thing post component right so whatever the post whatever the components in uh, required for this uh, post component and what are the services and all those things we can combine this one as a module and we can create we will create a module for this one so that creation of the module will be taken care by the test bed so test bed is nothing but creating a testing module so how you will be creating a feature module and all those things app module feature module these are all the things you will be creating right in the same scenario you will create a testing module so that the comp whatever the dependencies involved for that one uh, involved for that component the test bed will take care of that one and apart from this one test bed has so many usages also so let's try to see uh, those all usages also first one is handling the dependency injection for a component so for handling the dependency injection for a component so test bed takes care of those things so in, we can also use this kind of approach also but we are doing the angler angler provides as a utility class test bed and using the test bed we can we can do this approach so let's try to implement so let's try to change the same testing component using the test bed so for creating a test bed i already told you right we need to test bed creates a module so here in this before each i am creating a test bed so this test bed should be imported from the 
angular core testing so this one will be imported from the angular core testing so test bed dot we need to create a module so here configure testing module so we are we want to create a module so here this module contains the same thing how we, you will create a module here app dot module so ng module in the same scenario you have an object it contains of all the things something like see here declarations imports provider schema state down these are all the things you will be having so right now keep the concept of component aside so right now we are testing that two classes right so these two classes means nothing but a providers these are the services so we will add that component also in a provider section so i will show you afterwards why we why i have added in the provider section so shifting it to the declarations thing component thing how we can do it we'll we'll see it in the coming videos so now we are having we are dealing with the forget about the component concept and all those things we are dealing with the two classes that is post component and also the post service right so now we need to write so here we will be writing providers so providers is we have we are having two classes first one is the post component so we are dealing with the post component so that is the reason i have written directly the post component here so direct post component i am referring and another one is the post service so now post service means we cannot i cannot directly use the post service here why because the post service if you try to see it is involving it is having dependency of http client so we will try to learn about this http client testing also afterwards so but it is direct it is having a direct dependency on the http client so now we need to mock the post service so already we have created a mock here so now i can go top and i will write it here so that we can use of this one so now here in the provider section what i need to do i need to provide so we can use the full hand version of the declaring of the provider provide for the post service okay so whoever call the calls the post service in this testing use the concept use value okay use value mock post service okay that's it so use the value mock post service okay let's try to remove this one yeah use the value mock post service so this is it. so we are having two things now the component so we should not create the component with this new post component so test bed takes care of all those things right test bed dot inject inject will create an instance for this one so while is it injecting it will it will handle all those dependencies that's it finish so the post component is depend on this post service so it will take care of this one so okay post service is already declared here so it will directly inject that post component so there is no need for us to take care of everything so now here we have injected and mock post service and everything is there now now let's try to serve, uh, run the code so if i try to run this code npm test let's try to see it. so is there any problem we are getting or not so now it is successfully executed if you try to see the code here see the same the same thing the same post serve, post component delete method and all those things are executed successfully without any errors and also it is showing the success now if you try to see that what is the code we have changed instead of calling instead of creating our instance and uh, and adding those all dependency injections and all those things we have make use of this test bed and we have created the post co post component and all those the post component and all those things we have injected here and this test bed takes care of this dependency injection now some people what they will try to do is instead of instead of using this create spy object and all those things they will create a mock post service for example here i will create a mock post service okay so they will create a class like this directly okay so here what i can do it consists of get post okay mock post service consists of here if you try to see it consists of get post and also delete post okay let's try to add it get post and also it has a delete post okay so delete post takes scare takes something like post of post if you want to add you can add it so as this one is a mock post so this is a mock post service so that means instead of calling the actual post service it will call this one so here let's try to change it to post service okay so i am changing the name of this one so now we are having a mock post service now instead of having this one so here we have added this mock post service now this one we don't want this jasmine that creates by object so fine right now here mock post service so now here the mock post service you don't have this mock post service now what we need to do we need to have we need to get the instance of this actual mock post service we cannot call directly the mock post service with the class right 
Now, now if you want to get the post service, so here I can use post service is equal to testbed dot inject. We want to get the instance right, so I can use this post service. Okay, that's it. So now we got the mock post service. So here I can use this post service instead of mock post service. Delete post. Okay, and here where where is this one? So here also. So let's try to execute this one and let's try to see. So everything got executed, right? So it should not execute actually. So here everything got executed, but here we are getting an error. Let's try to see. I am deleting and I am running it again. Oh, here we didn't save it. Okay, I have saved it now. Let's try to run it again. Okay, here we got an error now. So what is the error? Mark post service dot delete post is not defined. So here, what is we are trying to do? Here we are trying to do mark post service. So here. We will call instead of this one post service dot delete post, and also to have been called. So to have been called times, we will try to see. So now again we are getting another error, something like should call the delete method in only once. So off undefined reading end. So why it is telling like that is so we are not spying on this delete post. We need to spy on this delete post. So let's spy on this delete post also. Spy on. so for which one i need to spy so in the post service and i need to delete service okay so sorry delete post i need to spy on this delete post now if you try to see here again we are getting error something like cannot read property should call so all the all the three post component are getting failed so what is the problem is so if you go here actually we are using the class here So instead of we, when we are using the class, we need to change it to use class here. So we should not use the use value. So now if you try to see, so now the change is again came should delete the selected post. So and return value. So it is having another error should delete the selected post. So here if we try to see, and return value post service dot delete post. So we can comment out this one. So why because so we don't have any mock post ma. We don't have any mocking thing in all this. We are not using this Jasmine dot create spy object, so we can remove this one. And if we try to see again, we'll try to see it. Oh, sorry. So let's try to save it. I think I didn't save it or not. Okay. So we have saved it. Now here we are having spy on this delete post and all those things. Delete post. Everything is correct. So we are not doing anything. So post service. Okay. Hope uh, everything is correct. Let's try to. Re-execute it again. So now again we are getting error. Something like should delete the selected post from the post. So this is the error we are getting. So what is the problem we are getting? Let's try to see it again. Should delete the this one component that delete post. So here we are having okay, okay, okay. So this delete post something we need to return right. So here we will try to do off of true. Okay. So that's it. So now let's try to see it again. If I try to see, only one thing got error, so everything got success. Should call the delete subscribe. So here it is unsubscribe. It is telling. So now here, now here what it is happening is here we are spying on this delete post. So when we are spying on this delete post, so it will not call the actual delete post. It will pretend that it has called the delete post. Now what we need to do? So one thing what we can do is so you can mention the and return value of of true. Okay. So now you can mention like this. Or otherwise, you can. I will show you another scenario. So all the things got success. Or otherwise, you can do that. So the actual this delete post is nothing but a, this is a mark post only. So there is no need to tell you. So we can tell that go and execute that main thing only. So no need to mark that one. So go and execute the main delete post only. So and you can use this and call through. Now if you try to see the output, so again also you will get the same output. So now these are the two scenarios how we can use this test bit thing. So using that, what is the thing I want to tell you is. So you can use the create spy object also mock post service and also you some people what they will try to do is they will try to create the class mock service and they will inject that one in the here mock post service. So same thing. So what we have did. So when we are using this class mock service, we cannot assume we cannot create this return value and all those things. So we need to spy on and you need to do like this. So here the same scenario we have did it. Okay. So this is how we will be using the test bed and also this is how we will be using the Testing this post component when we have the dependencies. When we have the dependencies, instead of creating the dependencies, instantiation, and all those things, and adding those as in instance uh, uh, dependencies, 
So we can make use of this test bed and test bed takes care of all those dependencies, injection and all those things and it will create a component for us. Okay. Hope you understood about this test bed thing. So we'll learn more about this test bed thing. So this is one of the way how we can make use of this test bed. This is a simple way. So we'll go on. We'll uh, understand so deep about this test bed and all those things. Hope you understood about this test bed. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.